guys my name is dheeraj kumar singh hope you guys are doing well uh, i am having total 9 years of experience in automation qa and the reason behind creating this video is to make you guys aware like i have created a ai agent whose main task is to diving deep into your jira stories and it will create a test cases and test scenario for you so as you guys aware like in the jira story we have a several section like summary description as well as attachment like attachment may consist of either pdf or any kind of image like figma design or wireframe for your application which will tell how the ui of your application will look like and along with that several discussion will be happen in the comment section so suppose before you getting start for writing a test case is what manual qa has to do is he has to jump on this user story which has been either be created by ba or project management team or po of your respective company so he will create and you you have to come and you have to analyze each and everything before writing a test cases so in the comment section also you have to read each and every comment and you have to come up to a conclusion and that conclusive evidence you have to use to start writing the test case scenario or test case or proper test cases so in practical situation like in agile methodology which two paced give the deliverables towards the company so maximum it will be for one week or two week or max to max three week of time you will get in those three week of video you have to design the techniques or maybe or two weeks of video you have to design the uh, test cases as well as you have to start executing on the different different platform as directed by the ba so to reduce this to reduce the effort of test case creation this agent will comes into the picture you can directly use this agent to design the test cases and the same once the test case designing technique test case design will be done you can forward this test cases to either ba or anyone or your lead to review it and sooner you can start the testing you can start testing by using this test cases so once you start using this model or agent it will be like so much benefit you will get first of all your productivity will got increase your efficiency will also get increase time to market will also get reduced along with that what will happen is once the test cases will be done the these test cases can be passed to the automation team as well who can design that who can start working on implementing their logics to test this test cases against the application so see lot of benefit we are going to get one by one i mean i will try to explain each and everything about the model so let me first of all visual studio let me open where the actual code will be yeah so this is the actual code i have done for this model to design this model flask i have used on the top of python code so here i am using azure open ai model and here i have just this is a just a check model whose main task is to get the input from a user and he will get give you the output let me run this code for you it will generate one no let me hit it so this is the proper ui guys ui will looks like this so here you have to provide the email id which is associated with your organization or jira api token also you have to write so let me copy the api token as well which i in in my case i have generated this api token from jira itself in your case you can either ask from your scrum master or the project lead and anyone can provide you the same token and you can use it let me copy this will be at huge okay so this and domain name will be like the project name and this is the project code after that you have to click on fetch it will take some time to fetch see list of story will be populate over here you can select any one of them let's in our case let's select let me check here here i here i have given some notes so let me select jira number 4 so once you will pass all the information to this ui actual processing will be, you can see in the console section over here let me close this so see it is trying to connect with the model which i which we have identified or which we have mentioned here it is trying to communicate to this model which we have deployed by using azure open ai studio so later in the later or in the next video i will showcase like how we can do how we can set up this code and you can also probably play around on these models so here i have included the prompt to generate the test cases 
and some code also to access the images and to read the image to read documentation everything i have attached here if it is have any pdf it will go and it will try to read the pdf as well and at the end like once suppose if your jira story have too much of comments what this will do is it will go it will pick the comment by date posted and it will try to uh, find the conclusive evidence so that it can be helpful to generate the test cases so these all th activity uh, i am performing on this model which i have showed you here so it will take too much of time as you can see this the information is processing as of now so let me pause the video for some time once the response i will it i will show you or i can we can wait for some time as also not a problem let's wait how much time it will take so meanwhile guys i will show you in the so see guys here uh, whatever the info we have given it is trying to generate all the test cases like positive scenario negative scenario boundary value scenario hk scenario work test as well as api testing and it will try to segregate all the test cases based on the test case designing technique whatever we have used like you can see over here equivalent partitioning boundary value so all the test case design technique as a prompt i have passed and it is able to generate me these amount of test cases which is very good you can read you can go through one by one and whichever you feel like this is required for my application you can pick it or you can take it entire test cases and you can send it for the review as well before sending i will make, make please make sure like you can go through the each and every test cases so that you can come to know what exactly we are testing and similarly it is generating the test case in the kubomer format these test cases you can directly copy and you can give to the automation team as well as or you can just give this test these test cases which is generated in the plain english language they can they will be capable of uh, generating the common language and they will implement in the automation so in the next video guys i will show you how we can use this leverage the ai model the same agent i will try to code in a different way so that i will show you like how automation team can use this model and they will also try to automate the test cases in a very good manner so that and it will also a time saving and definitely it will increase the productivity and efficiency in the next video definitely i will show you that thing and trust me guys that is very easy to understand and you can directly pick and add into your automation code and directly you can hit by just a small modification so whatever the question you will going to ask from the ai it will give the solution the small modification you have to do based on your framework and it will uh you it will be ready to execute as well so that is the that's what i wanted to show you guys so for meanwhile to test this let me so we have hit this information since it is having all the uh information in the story let me show you so we hit the jira number 4 so okay this is 13 yeah this is 4 so as you can see here it is having some description a small description and some image of the application and some comments are there so our model is capable of understanding each and everything it is analyzing the image as well as uh, the comment section and it is able to generate the response to us in terms of test cases so let's try to hit some other see this jira only have image so what we'll do we just It, we will just try to create the test cases for this jira or this user story here is our application let me go yeah this is the one so now you have what you have to go same domain you can give here ai fetch jira you have to click in now we have to pass jira number 6 so let's click on generate it will take some time to analyze that and once it will analyze that whatever the information it will got what internally it is doing like it is trying to place your input based on based on your input it is trying to accommodate to our code so see here we have given the prompt and whatever the input we have given it is trying to accommodate here that's why it's taking time and suppose if it is having any image so for image to read the image and to make it understand we have used some vision api or vision model just for the image to read the image so once everything will be once all the info it will get it will try to hit and it will try to generate the test cases for you based on the data whatever it will get so let's see what kind of input we are getting over here so for time being i am pausing the video once this will be once we will get the information i will try to explain 
so guys i am resuming this video see here we got some test cases for the jira number six so here if you see like here the, this jira talks about the loan estimate some this image i have taken from the google this image talks about some loan estimation form so we just if suppose our jira will have only this much information and no more description nothing is there and no comments also even though in that case uh, it is trying to generate some of the test cases by understanding uh, what the application and how the look and feel will be looking so based on his understanding it is trying to generate the positive scenario negative scenario boundary value means all kind of test cases is, it is trying to generate some uh, negative testing along with the data it is uh, showing it is it is able to generate so this is this is the power of ai guys we can use this power of ai uh, to leverage or we can leverage the power of ai in our day-to-day -day activity to increase our productivity as well as efficiency that's what the motive and that's what uh, the thought behind developing this uh, ai agent on the top of ai model so if you guys feel like this is uh, this is really interesting or this can this this design or this agent can be worth of anything so please do like share and subscribe my channel in the next section next section will be completely for the automation qa see i am also an automation qa i am having total 9 years of experience so i am i have designed some of the uh, model uh, which will definitely increase our efficiency while automating the application or automating the page so in next video i will try to explain the activity which a normal automation QA has to perform first without automation and then with without AI and then with the help of AI. So hope you guys will like and enjoy more on that topic. So stay tuned and thank you for watching and please do like, share and subscribe. We will meet in the next video. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.